cruising with Collision Hub and we're closing out Skills USA on the day of competition. And we're going to end our coverage this afternoon with a little bit of conversation with Carl Liner, uh, a name that you're all familiar with, not in addition for their, for their support of uh, Nat Skills National, but for World Skills coming up in London. Sean, thanks for taking the time. No, no problem. I know you are doing some, doing some tear down right now. Tell us a little bit about Carl Liner's commitment to just skills in general. Well, we like to make sure that we're represented. Uh, we want to make sure that the kids that are out there uh, and the contestants get all of the information that they need. They have the right education. So being able to have them test out on all the different pieces of equipment uh, gives them a broader background on all the different information that they're going to need to have when they get out there into the real world and start fixing on these cars. Right. Carl Liner's commitment to skills, specifically world skills, is pretty big. Uh, share a little bit about what that means to Carl Liner and the investment that you guys have there. Uh, well, last year World Skills was in Calgary, uh, Canada, and we put out just about $3 million in support. Uh, we had 21 benches there set up, uh, and World Skills grows every year, so this year we're planning on doing a lot more. This year it's in London, uh, so we're looking forward to supporting it that way and bringing everything that we can there. Hey, such a, you know, it's a great company from just the corporate level to Sweden, drilling it down into the North Americas. There's just a, a, a huge commitment to students and education that you guys have. So what are some of the new things coming out of Carliner that, that we need to know about? Uh, well, we have a number of new things. We're right in the process right now of revamping a number of our training courses, uh, bringing them up to date and getting some of the new product out there, some of our holding uh, equipment. Uh, we've got some uh, new technological stuff like the hand eye, uh, allowing you to access the measuring system with uh, a number of different uh, smartphones and devices. So there's a lot of new stuff. We're really uh, happy with a lot of the new technology that we're working with and bringing out to the market. Yeah, that hand eye on the iPhone is really, it's a really neat little toy there. I, oh, yeah. I know it's not supposed to be a toy, but uh, I do enjoy my gadget, so I was great when that came out. Um, share a little bit, if you can, about, uh, we've been seeing a lot of buzz around the welders. Um, some of the smart technology for sensing thickness and types of materials, and it's just, it's very, since we had a welding competition here, I think it's a great thing for us to talk about. Yeah, well, we, we just introduced um, last year the CTR 12000, which is our new inverter spot welder, which is fully automatic. So, meaning that it not only determines thickness, it also determines the type of material that the technician is welding. So, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of adjusting the welder. It basically put the material between it, pull the trigger, and it's welding. Now, to determine thickness, it uses a pulse sonar system. So it actually uses sound waves when the jaw is closed to determine how thick the material is. And then it uses resistance to determine what type of material that you're actually welding. Wow. One of the things I really liked about it, besides that it made me a welder, which is really hard to do, um, was that the way that it's uh, water-cooled is that there's less, you know, this is one of the things we don't think about with technicians and injuries and burns and some of those squeeze-resistant spot welders, but it's almost like instantaneously cool. Yeah, we're passing a lot of current through the tips in order to weld a lot of these new materials. So we got to keep it cool, safe for the technician. Uh, plus, you know, the more heat we create, the more resistance we create. So we got to keep those cool. So we liquid cool it all the way to the tips. Um, and that keeps it nice and safe and uh, keeps us running real nice. Yeah, it's a great piece of equipment. I enjoyed it. Well, we're going to let you get back to getting out of here. I know that I think they told us we got a few hours to get this place completely in. I appreciate you taking the time, and we're going to see you, I guess, at World Skills in London. Of course. Thanks. All right, thank you. Stay tuned. We'll have a little bit wrap-up coverage, and we still got to bring you the buzz. Thanks.